well, the markets last week seeing losses, but at the same time, I mean, buying activity starting to emerge within the banking sector once again. What are some of your expectations for the trading week ahead? Yeah, the, uh, this week, expectation, our expectation for the market is still uh, bearish because uh, a number of investors are waiting to see the outcome of the CBN audit of the outstanding banks. So we do not expect so much uh, uh, this week. Probably the market will be uh, trading the sideline and all of that. So we, do, we are not expecting any much this particular week. While we await further audit results uh, to come to the fore here, of course, we've seen the suspension of the five banks that have been bailed out and cleaned up at the top lifted. Those of uh, Union, Afri, Intercontinental, Oceanic and FinBank as well. How have those stocks been performing uh, since the trading ban has been lifted? Actually, the banks, when lifted up suspension, their prices actually uh, were falling in line with the uh, market trend. Now, as we know, last week the uh, banking sector lost about 9% and that weighed significantly on the overall market, which lost about 6.3% uh, last week. So the investors' confidence are still very, very low. And the public confidence in the banks are also very, very low. I think the management of the banks will have a lot of things to do to actually bring back the public confidence. So people will probably be cautious trading in those stocks depending the time we see uh, other results from them. Well, certainly what should be boding well for some investor confidence is the fact that uh, when it comes to the status of these banks, we saw Oceanic Bank saying that it's seen 13 billion Naira uh, in non-performing loans already being recovered. We've got an additional 21.2 billion debt owed to those five troubled banks being recovered, uh, according to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission as well, bringing recovery to 66 Point seven billion naira when it comes to these uh, these five banks respectively. So is that to any extent making investors a little bit more comfortable right now? Uh, you see, uh, we heard that some recoveries have been made, but basically uh, investors, they will not act until they see the impact of that on their bottom line. So the wise thing that we investors can do now, you know, is to uh, tread cautiously, wait for their uh, next quarterly results before we make our decisions. So any action that is being taken now will be purely speculative because mm -hmm. nothing has fundamentally changed. So investors need to be convinced that the banks have actually turned around and the impact of recovery is positive. So do we have to wait for uh, those results on those trends to come to the fore in your books before we see any form of sustainable recovery emerge on the Nigerian market? Uh, you see, the, there are a lot of issues. The recovery effort, the actions of the CBN, they are affecting a number of variables. Currently, uh, oil and gas sector is being, uh, uh, is being uh, starved of working capital, and that is affecting the aviation sector. So we don't know it's possible this may spread to other sectors as banks' credits, you know, banks' credit to the other sectors have, you know, have been very, very slow in recent time. And in some cases, credit have been frozen up. And I don't know how the economy is going to move forward without credit flowing. And the uh, in indications are also imagined that there may be retrenchment in the sector, and that may impact on consumer spending and all of that. So there are a lot of headwinds ahead, and I believe the best word for now is caution. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the sectors that has uh, recently come into the spotlight on the back of uh, you know the trickle down effect we could see uh, go through and flow through into uh, from the banking arena is the insurance space. I mean, to what extent have these players really felt the sting from the banking sector and the general equity fallout we've seen? Uh, you see, the insurance sector basically the insurance companies derive their revenue from two uh, sources, the premium income and income from the investment portfolio. When you look at the premium, looking at the recent results released by insurance companies like Universal Insurance, Standard Alliance Insurance and Co. You see that premium have been growing. That shows that the sector is fundamentally uh, viable and stable. So the only challenge is the income loss that is coming as a result of the diminution in the value of the investment portfolio. And that is impacting uh, uh, significantly on their bottom line. So uh, we expect 
I will expect the sector to do very well, given that their main primary business is still intact going forward.